So this kid, John the TMP, he's a runner. Uh, so he, he's, you know, he's a small guy, fast, and he used to marathon, and apparently he's been in four car accidents. True or false? True. So this kid's had a rough time. Uh, it's kind of fun to get him out and doing this drill. And he was actually at the doctor's appointment when we first went by and saw his wife, uh, Marie. Marie. So good family, really impressed with him. So we hope the best for him. I guess he's kind of on the upswing of his injuries, but he's gone through a lot overcoming his, his uh, car accident. So it's funny, funny how you learn about people's, uh, you know, their hardships that they go through kind of puts things in perspective for what every one of us is going through. We all have stuff that we work with. I should have sent that kid back to the freaking dirt road. He's such a fast <laughs> runner. <laughs> like a mile away from that Dude. first target. Four car wrecks. Okay, he was so out running us. He's running right now is a TMP Rock River running a Mark IV Leopold two and a half to 10 illuminated. It's in my scope video with a XM193 for the longer stuff. Look how cool that setup is, man. That's a cool setup. It looks like, I don't know, kind of Christmassy. It's awesome. Oh, game face on. All right, let's go. Step it out there, Chief. All right, so this one, if we do a second run with you guys, it's kind of instructional. So if we have any ideas on how to help you, we'll do it. Not that we're all that, we're not. We can't hit out here in all conditions, though. This is our schoolhouse. <laughs> we almost planted it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right side, go to the cone. Double check your illumination. Uh, and how's that power range, good? It's okay. Okay, cool. Now what I want you to do, hold it further up. Pull the stock really hard into you. Plant your cheek. Spread your legs out a little bit more. Kind of lean into it. See if you can get a little bit more stability. Hit it. Good. Nice. 100%. Right as I said that. All right, there you go. Safe it. Next target to the left. Look, look at the time. Midnight 09. <laughs> <laughs> no, standing. We're going to work on that. Okay, stop for a sec. Breathe. Give me some cleansing bless. Our breaths. It breath. de-stresses you. So all the way in. Don't breathe on your scope. All the way out. Look around while you're doing that. Give me about two of those. Relax. Shoulder the gun, breathe again. Pull that stock into you. Now, if we had a sling, we could really tighten it into a sling, but we're not, that's too much to deal with in Soldier Boy. So we're doing without a sling. Let's go ahead and pull it into your shoulder. Relax, lean it into it a little bit. Slow trigger pull. All right, bring the gun down, breathe out, relax. Just loosen everything up, look at me. Just kind of, then bring it right up in about five seconds. So just stress, de-stress for a little bit, now try it again. Gun up, into the shoulder pocket. Good shot, good shot. Now I'm gonna try to show you something old school. So go ahead and shoulder pocket it. This is what they used to do in World War II, I want you to this is gonna be ridiculous. But I want this to be out like a chicken wing, okay? Huh? This is gonna be a counterbalance. So look, look at me. 
So I'm like this, clear out. Try that and see if you can hit that way. I know it sounds ridiculous. Chicken wing it and use it as a counter bounce. Way out, still pull into, the, there you go. Nice, nice. Kneeling. I notice you come back here and hold. I'd still try to hold up there if you can and still pull it into your shoulder. One more. All right, that's good. Safe it up. You still suck. Okay, here we go. Don't buzzle me. No. Five shots on that guy as fast as you can. Your choice of position, your choice. We still don't have a mouse ram out, so I uh, have left it. Oh. Let me see if I suck the pad of UV. I probably do. All right, bro, here you go. Sorry, I closed the bolt on you. Your choice of position. You don't have to stand if you want. Five shots, fast, let's go. Okay, hold up. Notice your, your sitting position. You're kind of like this. Look, you're kind of a fulcrum. So if you're gonna do it, do it. Get some, get your butt in the snow, dig your feet in, and come and look at me. See how I'm kind of crouched over and get some stability that way. You won't be able to get up quick that way, but you gotta hit what you're hitting. There you go, flesh on flesh there, good. Pull it into that shoulder pocket, breathe. Good job. Sit nice. You're shooting, John. Okay, pistol. I'm not sure how many rounds are in there. I'll take you. There you go. Slide it up. Same thing. You want to breathe here. So breathe out. Maintain the side alignment all the way through. Sorry, only two rounds. Oh, that's sad. Go ahead and throw it down there. You just leave it open. That's fine. Grab your gun. Let's go. Alright, it's down somehow. Go to the cone of happiness. It's Ten shots as fast as you can pull the trigger. Oh, you're going standing. That's a tougher hit. Especially after running. So you've been running. It's tough. Really tough to do standing. Um, Magnifications right here. Okay, safe it. Good. Now behind you, five shots. Look how cool that freaking muzzle brake looks. When it's firing, it looks sick. Safe it up. Good job. All right, down we go to the flashing beacon. Run. Here you go, brother. Okay, the first one I want you to hit is that long one right here. Behind me. Safe it up. I'm going to laze it for you because I really don't know what the distance is. We just kind of threw it out there. It's not that far though. Just same top of plate, dude. It's only like 160. Okay, hold up. 
Oh, and you're out of the old sheep stick. Yeah. Hey, it's only 150. Oh. Roger that, you come out and show us how it's done. Okay, listen, when you lock this up, you're gonna find your distance. So height-wise is adjusted this way. Right. Stab it in and then lock it in. Really hold it and then push into your shoulder and get some stability, okay? Right. Now here you can kneel down because you've got another part. Okay. Give you stability. So you're not doing the fulcrum or the seesaw thing you're doing back there. Dig? Right. right. Tear it up. Give me uh, 10 shots on that guy. Breathe out, breathe out. Not into your scope. Relax. Nice, clean trigger pull. That's a small target, Team Peters, that he's shooting at. Very small, about six by eight inches. There nice you go. Hit. Hit. How's the illuminated reticle? It turned off the second one. It keeps coming back and on and off? It was off for a minute. It is off? It was. It's back on now. Okay. That's what I was talking about in the review. This mag. Alright, couple more on that and then I'm going to have to go for five or 400. Piece of cake. Nothing. Is it back on? No, we're, yeah, we're good, I think. There you go, there you go. So Beautiful. twist this and if it goes off, dick around with this right here. Top Not one. this one, this one. Right. Not that one, this one. Sorry. We did that in Red Skies, isn't it? <laughs> Not good. Hit. One more. Hit. Hit. Good job. Okay, so swing around in position. We're gonna use the sticks again. Notice when you went prone last time, you were like this, and your gun was kind of doing this. Uh -huh. Did you notice that? My arms are getting really fatigued. Don't hold your gun up. Okay. So dig your magazine in the snow. Okay. If you're gonna go prone, spread out, commit to it. Go prone, dig that mag in, get super, super low so the gun doesn't move. And that's where you're gonna shoot. All right. Dig? I'm on it. And you can do it here because we got no brush in the way. Oftentimes we got lots. Try okay. sticks. If you want to go pro, welcome to it. Uh, so we're gonna do seven come ups here with M193. All right, you need a really good clean trigger press to make this. So get, I don't like how you're sitting on your leg then. I don't want stable. Come down, get low. Look at this, how I'm doing. Get on your There back. you go. Get there this you go. up here so you're not resting on the barrel. And then adjust the height so it's perfect, okay? Magnification in here. Yeah, you're on 10 power right now. Okay. Doesn't seem like a lot, does it? Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? This is hey, good. didn't I say that in my review? <laughs> That's you a did. 10 power. You know, I, the biggest difference from the first stage Tell to this those one. Guys. The biggest difference is the quality of the scope. You know, I had a Weaver. Uh, it was reviewed fairly well. I like Weavers. Um, I listened to your first scope review, went out and bought it. It was the first scope uh, I had purchased. I still run them. It's a good scope, but out here, this one makes a big difference. I, I Look really, at our conditions. Really makes You're a at huge night. difference. It's freaking cold. Fog mm -hmm. can be an issue. The low light, crystal clear images when I get Super up on that. Super crystal clear. Big, big difference. That's what you me. get when you buy a $1,500 scope. <laughs> Don't tell my wife how much it costs. Okay. Hey, All by the... the way, we like how you keep secrets from her. What are you talking about? Nice. See? <laughs> a plus. That's what I do to my wife, too. Not anymore, because I have TMP, but before, I, I wouldn't tell her crap. <laughs> hey, is this a new gun? No, I've had it for a year. <laughs> <sighs> Cleansing breath, bro. Hit. Hit. That's a hit. 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 All hits. Nice shooting, John. Miss. Hit. Hit. Just finish that mag up, bro.
That target resonates good. All hits, man. Couple misses, but mostly hits. Great shooting. You're doing great, brother. Really good. Hey. Good Woo! Man. Thank great you. Shoot. Zero your dials. Go back to the fluorescent, right on zero. Boom, done. And then come down to magnification in case you have something close range coming at you. Like it. Move the scope caps open or close? Close one. What do you think? <laughs> it's a dream come true. You know, I couldn't be happier. Great course, great group of guys. Glad I was able to come out tonight. Um, it's like the Super Bowl for gun guys. Well, we're glad you came out, dude. You rock. You did a great job. job. Thanks, guys. What I probably did is gave you the bug to upgrade your optics. Without a doubt. Yeah. Without a doubt. Uh, I showed you some other ones. Go watch that scope vid. The ones that cost, you know, one third of that, and they'll still provide the performance. Illuminated reticle, super clear. Maybe not quite as clear as this one, but uh, if you don't have $1,500 for one optic, uh, I'd probably run that. <laughs> No, beautiful gun. Great optic. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it. Right on. That's the Rock River uh, Elite Operator 2 modified by my modified by myself. It's got a bad lever on it. MFT. That's uh, some other stuff. It's kind of a go-to gun. I'm pretty sure, Darnine, every time they come out, they're going to end up running a TMP gun on the second run. It's like we talked. Uh, well, we talked about this when we were on our way out. We really need to zero to one particular... And ammo. Correct. Um, and know the dopes. No, oh man, you got to know what the come ups are. Know what the draw. You, you know, know where your zero is at every interval. Two, three, four, five. Yep. Hours. This load you're shooting is a M193 NATO load, <laughs> and I chronoed it. Really? It's 2977 average. I plugged that into my Night Force ballistic software program. I put in the temperature, and I know that at this distance with its BC, I'm shooting seven MOA. So we spin it and notice how you're hitting. Freaking Straight every on. shot. Straight on. That's how you do a load. You don't shoot to guess. You guys out there who have guns, spend some time with the gun. Either you spin the come ups like we do out here or learn your ballistic reticle. But it's gonna take a chronograph, it's gonna take some time and learning your load. And and uh, I'll be impressed when someone rolls out here at 400 yards and they're hitting it. They know, they're, you know they will, because they'll watch this series that's what I want you guys to do is learn from all the video material out there. Oh, I thought you did awesome though. Really good job. Yeah, lots of fun. Okay, so we're gonna wrap it up. It's well past midnight. He wakes up in about three hours for work. That's not a lie. True story. I wanna cut you loose. Just go, we'll clean up. And then uh, Soldier Boy, John the team here, met his family and we made it out. Uh, man, fun times. See you guys. Over and out.